From the DebtProdigy.com studios, you're listening to One on One. I'm Jimmy Olson, and joining me again is Andy Rote, Fleet Feet Sports. How are you, sir? Good morning, Jimmy. You uh, having a uh, good good week, uh, good day, good, uh, well, you know, they're talking rain <laughs> well, over the next few days. It's been fun seeing all the kids heading back to school. Yeah, all the, uh, just everybody posting that on Facebook and stuff, All this, so these mugs just keep popping up out of nowhere. Actually, did you see, um, I, I saw this this morning, there was a senior, and this is in Michigan, what she did for her student ID, she, talk about a throwback picture, she mimicked her terrible kindergarten picture. I mean, she was like, like she was scared. So she was in pigtails, had this, you know, USA yellow sweatshirt, hooded sweatshirt on. And I mean, her face was just like somebody was coming at, like she was looking at a clown or something and was freaking out. So she mimicked that picture for her senior ID shot. I'm like, that is hilarious. That is to me, a epic Mm. throwback, not just a throwback picture, but a, you know, reincarnation of what happened. I thought it was funny. Yeah. (laughs) So speaking of funny, what's, uh, what's uh, going on? Big, uh, big plans for, your social runs uh, here in the next uh, few days? Yeah, actually, uh, believe it or not, you know, football season's here, right? No. Yeah, yeah. No, I've not heard that and, at all. <laughs> and something that's going to sneak up on folks is the uh, Iowa, Iowa State football game. Oh, yeah, the Cy Hawk game. Comes up on September 10th. No. Yeah, that's just a couple weeks away, not very far at all. So uh, Fleet Feet Sports is doing a couple special things. Okay. Uh, so working backwards in time here, on that day, it's a Saturday, mm-hmm. we will have a special tailgate run out of the store. So on our social run and walk at 8 a.m., okay. we'll do our walk and run, and then we'll have a tailgate party oh, at the nice. store. Some okay. hot dogs, watermelon chips, kind of kick off the, the all, big game that all, day. All, all, your, all your tailgate favorites. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're tying in with Saucony, which is one of our sponsors, and mm-hmm. people can win one of two $100 gift certificates at our store for Saucony, either apparel or shoes. Wow. And the way that that works is if they come to our uh, four social runs leading up to that game, mm-hmm. so that'd be Wednesday the 31st, Saturday, September 3rd, Wednesday the 7th, and then Saturday, September 10th. If they go to all four, they'll qualify to win a hundred dollar Saucony gift certificate at the store. Oh wow, that is huge! That's crazy. Plus, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Wait, there's more. <laughs> you could also win a gift certificate. We're using this as a fundraiser for the Special Olympics of Iowa, mm-hmm. which is Iowa State uh, favorite charity. And the uh, University of Iowa Children's Hospital, if you help donate some money to either of those causes, you could also win a $100 Saucony gift certificate at Fleet Feet Sports. Oh, wow. So just uh, lots of stuff. Now, they can uh, get a hold of you with all the details on the website. What's the best way to get all the details of your Cy-Hawk tailgate party? Yeah, we got it on the website. I uh, have it in the store. Happy to chat with people about it, too. Um, we'll get that, it on our, our weekly email, too. And that's uh, FleetFeetSportsDM.com, correct? Fleet Feet... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did I catch you off guard on that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah the, you know, the thing. The uh, FleetFeetDesMoines.com. There we go. FleetFeetDesMoines.com. FleetFeetDesMoines.com. And if you can't remember that, just remember to Google Fleet Feet Sports Des Moines, and you will find whatever you need to get to the website to get to their Facebook. Well, that's a lot of the big events, including the the social runs that you have every Wednesday night, Saturday morning. Uh, Then, well, next week you are starting the next NOBO, No Boundaries uh, training. So on uh, on Monday the uh, the twenty ninth we have an open house mm-hmm. at six thirty p.m. So no boundaries is our walk run program, and in ten weeks pe- we'll take people from whatever level of activity they might be to completing a five k, mm-hmm. which is three point one miles. So if people like information on that, we've got a absolutely free open house uh, Monday the twenty ninth at six thirty. And if they're interested, we start the program, the fall no boundaries program, the next day Tuesday. Uh, at 6 p.m., and we do the walk run Tuesdays at 6 p. and Saturdays at 8 a. And it's a fantastic program, especially if you're needing that encouragement, you're needing that uh, that accountability. You know, maybe you've been wanting to do something like that, wanting to get more active, but trying to do it on your own not always uh, not always the best motivator. We got a great so, group of people to mm-hmm. provide encouragement and support, and help you have fun while you're doing it. Exactly. It, trust me, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> 
So uh, that's going on. Uh, I know there is, uh, it might be a little late of getting signed up for it, but maybe they will take some uh, some walk-ups. I'm going to assume you're going to talk about the sweet corn run that's happening uh, over the weekend with Christ the King. That is the 27th, and the gun goes off at uh, 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, people could still register for that. And that's another one of those maybe a little bit smaller race, really local. Uh, mm-hmm. And if you like sweet corn, Heck, you got that going for you, too. Absolutely. So depending on when you're hearing uh, hearing this uh, with me and Andy, uh, you'll, you know, it's either in a couple days or, I mean, one of those that if it's a first thing in the morning, hey, hurry up, get your clothes on and get down there. So the, the packet pickup, a couple options there would be Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. And then on race day, Saturday morning, the 27th, you could sign up between 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Fantastic. Well, very cool. Any other uh, any other runs we need to uh, think about, know about uh, that you want, or at least ones that you want to put a bug in somebody's ear? Yeah, uh, one that that's new that we've talked about a little bit uh, on Saturday, September third, is the Fire Trucker Five Keg up in Ankeny. Uh, so that's a new race, and that benefits the Nature Conservancy. Uh, so that'll be happening on September third. And uh, we're excited to partner with those folks. And so um, if you like the Nature Conservancy, if you like Fire Trucker Brewery, best of both worlds. Absolutely. Or even if you just like Fire Trucker Brewery. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Do, anything else? I know I know the uh, the we've talked about a little bit, too, which not a lot of details yet, but was the uh, the food truck 5K, which is going to happen later on in September. Um, but again, I mean, I think we've uh, talked before that it's getting to that time where there's a lot. This is when the the five k season really starts picking up. I see you, you, you see that a lot in the like fall and spring as the temperatures are a little cooler. Yeah, uh, races start to pick up again, and another big one is the IMT Des Moines Marathon mm-hmm. series. And uh, there's not only a marathon, but there's a half marathon. Uh, there's a 5K, and new this year is a five miler. So people can participate in any one of those, and they could win a free entry. At Fleet Feet Sports oh. uh, in the month of September, we'll be giving away one free entry each week, courtesy of Ultra. Ultra is one of our shoe brands, and they're the official shoe sponsor of the IMT Des Moines Marathon. So just stop into Fleet Feet Sports in September, and you could win an absolutely free entry. And if you win, you could choose any one of those four races you'd like to participate in. I actually uh, was talking to the executive director of the IMT Des Moines Marathon, Chris Birch, this past week. And I think he might even be having me try and uh, be involved in that a little bit, too. So we'll see uh, how that all pans out. But uh, always fun, always a lot of things. So as we're getting into the the cooler weather, which we're kind of seeing that a little bit, where it's cooler at night, cooler in the morning, but warms up during the day. So a different type of running, different type of gear that people are maybe need to start thinking. I mean, we've talked about hydration so much throughout the summer, you know, making sure you stay hydrated. Now, maybe some different things you need to think about, different concerns. Yeah, the the thing to think about is it's starting, I hate to say this, but it starts to get dark a little earlier, Mm -hmm. starts to get light a little later. So visibility uh, gets to be something that's very important. It's important for people to be seen. And we've got lots of solutions to help people with that. Well, I've seen uh, between the reflectors, the orange vests. I mean, again, it's being in bright colored clothes, something that's reflective, something that if, you know, headlights or something hits you, it's going to give a, a shine off that. Yeah, lot, lots of different options with shoes, apparel, and also some reflective items. And uh, we're happy to walk people through that. And did, and I think I saw, I'm not sure if maybe it was at your store, but even like little lights that you can put on your shoes that have like flashy yeah. or maybe even like uh, like a some kind of like headband thing. So it's, again, not much different than on a bicycle where it's having those flash, just kind of like, you know, hey, pay attention. There's something over here in your in your vision. Right. Lots of different options depending on what uh, works best for a person when they're walking or running uh, to help keep them safe while they're out on the road. Fantastic. So how can they uh, find out about all of the fall running gear that they need or if they want to talk to you about any of the uh, different 5Ks or they just have questions for you? Yeah, we always love to see people in the store. Fleet Feet Sports Des Moines were easy to find in the East Village at the corner of East 6th and Locust. Uh, free covered parking uh, just south of the store on East 6. We're at 521 East Locust. Give us a call, 323 feet. That's 323 3338. And the website again is fleetfeetdemoines.com. Andy, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. So we will chat with you again. Thanks, Jimmy. 
You've been listening to One-on-One with Jimmy Olsen from the DebtProdigy.com studios.